Hi Texters, welcome back to yet another episode of the Technology Blues. And in today's episode we plan in making your social media life a bit more interesting and easier. So you must be wondering how we are gonna do that. Well here's how. Okay, so what you guys are gonna learn today is uh, how to access all your favorite messenger apps like Facebook Messenger, WhatsApp, Skype and many others through one single app. Yeah, I know that sounds amazing. As you can see over here, you can switch between any of your messengers anytime you want and not just that, but also between any number of accounts that you have on them. So let's get to it. First open Google Chrome on your PC. Now click on apps over here in the left hand top corner. Now click on web store. Once you are into the web store section, type in all in one messenger app. First the uh, extension section will come, uh, we will just skip them for the time being. We will peep into the app section, over here we will find the all in one messenger which is uh, actually an app, uh, a google chrome app. So we will click on add to chrome and uh, click add app over here. Now google will download it for you, as soon as the downloading is complete, it will add this all in one app into your chrome app section over here. So click on all in one app. And here as you can see, there's a huge list of apps available uh, inside and uh, you can see there's WhatsApp, there's Facebook Messenger, Skype, WeChat, Telegram, uh, Yahoo Messenger, Google Hangouts and uh, lots of lots of other apps which we use for our daily life uh, messenger chatting. So first I will try logging into an, uh, into, a, into an account of mine that is the Facebook Messenger account. These are just the temporary permissions that uh, that the app might take. So just add Facebook Messenger over here. Click on Resolve once this message pops up, and click on Allow. Now I will sign into my Messenger account or my Facebook account with my email ID and my password. And click on Continue. It will just take a bit of time in loading your Facebook Messenger and yeah, as you can see the whole of your Facebook Messenger is up over here and you can send anybody any messages. Now let's uh, try something different. Now let's uh, pop into our WhatsApp account for a change. So click on this uh, settings uh, icon over here and click on WhatsApp, uh, add WhatsApp to your Chrome. Now once this page arrives, you will have to uh, scan this QR code with your mobile by logging into your WhatsApp account. So I will just do that. And as you can see now, I am already logged in to my WhatsApp account as well. I can type in hello to my friend. And at any time I can switch between my messenger or my WhatsApp and reply to my friends. Isn't that amazing? Now, yeah, I promised you there's something more left. So, you can sign in to your different accounts, to various accounts through this. So, let's try signing in uh, to another messenger account. Since I don't have another WhatsApp account, I can just show you signing into another WhatsApp account. But I will surely try to show you signing in uh, to another Facebook account for a change. So, to do that, we will again click on this Facebook messenger over here. We will click add Facebook messenger. And we will sign in with other account details. And here as you can see I am signed in to two different messengers, I mean two different Facebook accounts over here. Hello friend, let me just... And... Yes, we are done. There's WhatsApp, there's Messenger, there's another Messenger. 
and uh, also you can add others like Skype if you have a Skype account of course Skype, WeChat and many others of okay. so yeah this is it and yeah we are not just finished yet what we can also do is uh, we can add we will not even require Google Chrome to log in to our uh, this app of ours so what we will do we will uh, go to Chrome once again click on this app section this will pop up now click on uh, the all-in-one messenger app that as you can see over here we will right click on it and click on create shortcuts if you want a desktop shortcut or a start menu or a uh, taskbar shortcut just choose your choice I will go for a taskbar pin only and I will click on create once I created this even uh, I can open my uh, I'll just close this and as you can see I need not even open my Google Chrome for this and I can directly pop into my messenger and WhatsApps from my desktop and uh, yeah this is it so if you enjoyed our tutorial and if our tutorial was helpful do leave a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel as we are obviously new and, and we obviously need you guys to boost us up thank you